There's another unboxing that we're doing right now. Uh, Air Zoom Flight, the glove. There goes my damn phone. Something must have happened on Sports Center. Uh, let's see if I can get this macro in here. It's acting jacked up right now. Anyways, that's a Air Zoom Flight, the glove. Uh, black, white, University Red. Retails for $145. Uh, I picked these up off a of Foot Locker. Uh, let's get into it. Alright, quick story about these back in the day. Uh, back uh, when these came out. I think I was in middle school again. Uh, I had to have the Jordan 12 instead of this. But then later on, uh, my dad wanted to get me another pair of shoes, and this is what I wanted to get. Uh, went around to every spot I could think of that sold shoes, and there was a place that we used to have called World Foot Locker. This is before they had Champs, and I think before we even had Finish Line, we had world footlocker it was a huge huge ridiculously huge store that we had in our mall with like so much open space and it just wasn't it just was weird like there was so much open space and not as much product but it was dope because it was just a huge ass store anyways I was at I was already at my at my size that I am now I think I was at eight maybe not at eight and a half to a nine but I was like at a at a eight to maybe my eight and a half already. Uh, and when I found them, they only had a size seven or seven and a half. I can't remember. And what was I gonna do? I wanted them, so I got them and stuffed my foot in it. It wasn't really bad at first, but my foot was still growing. So at at a certain point, I really couldn't wear them anymore. So it kind of sucked. Uh, one of the things back in the day that I remember, and I know it's going to happen with these two, uh, this sole breaks down so quick. I wore them for basketball and whatnot, and this would just, uh, it's very, very, uh, small treading, uh, as far as depth. It's kind of hard to see in there, but this doesn't go down a lot before you hit the red. Um... And I would play basketball in these shoes back in the day, and then I'd be uh, on a asphalt court, pretty much be playing on on you know bald tires. <laughs> I'm into cars too, so that's that's the terminology you're getting from me, because it pretty much was what you were getting. You were getting bald tires on a asphalt, and you would slip around and slide. Anyways. The quality of these is pretty awesome. I mean, it's it stays pretty up to par with what they were back in the day. The hair has changed. Uh, it was more rounded off back in the day. Uh, let's see here. The zipper has changed, but it still functions the same. It looks really good still. Uh, biggest setback, they did up the price, you know, not too bad. I can remember, I think they were 110 back in the day, so 145 now isn't too bad considering how long it's been, but no carbon. And to me, that's still not a big thing. I mean, why do you care if you didn't get carbon if it's on the bottom of the shoe? You can't even see it anyway, so who cares? Um, little, uh, oh, the big thing with me too. Laces used to be silver back in the uh, first release, and the exoskeletal was written in silver and whatnot too. I can't find any laces that even somewhat match what uh, the original release had, and that sucks. Um, a note that I would do if I was you, and you barely are getting these because I know it's a little bit way after the fact that they came out, but if you're going to rock them down and whatnot, especially this black pair, uh, the white pair, it doesn't really matter because it's like a synthetic leather up top. Uh, but the other pairs also that came out, they're still the spandex material and whatnot. This is what you got to worry about. This right here. I know on my OG pair when I wore them, uh, I didn't do this. And this uh, Velcro, if it grabs the spandex, you're going to pull it to get it off. And it's going to leave a little snag. 
trick to do that is go buy you a you know piece of velcro you, I don't know if this is the male or the female side but you want to get this side and pretty much put it over there uh, make a little or you could even kinda guess it if you want and just trim off that little piece just like that put the felt side down against it so if you put the felt side down against it and you're gonna rock them wearing them down hey it, it's not gonna be uh, grabbing your spandex because you have the felt already covering the male part or whatnot so that's a good little trick that I'm doing now when I'm rocking these or when I'm gonna rock them I already made my piece so I don't snag the spandex like I used to it's a really dope ass kick uh, bring out the other one this one already has a crease in it I haven't even worn them can't believe that that's alright though it doesn't matter to me one big thing I am I have our one big uh, philosophy I have wear your shoes wear your shoes you know you're spending money on them wear them what good's it do to have them uh, sitting and whatnot I've seen countless stories of people that have 99 Fords and they didn't wear them the whole time and guess what now their midsole is crumbling and falling apart and the shoe is only worth I think they think people are still getting retail for it, which is kind of crazy. But when the midsole is just falling apart, I mean, there's other people that have 99s that still rock them. And guess what? The midsole is not falling apart because the materials, you know, you're wearing them here and there. Even if you wear them here and there, as long as you wear them, the materials are at least stretching and whatnot and not just being stuffed away in a box in the back of your closet and whatnot. So here is the Gary Payton The Glove.